In this video, we discuss comparison of rail drive, chain drive, and gear drive. So, first comparison is on the basis of main elements. So, here in this diagram, we see this is a bell drive, and the main component is the pulley and belt. In a chain drive, main component is the and chain. And in a gear drive, the main component is the gear. So here we see this is the two spot gear are there, or the more than two gear are also used to transmit the power by using the gear drive. Second point on the basis of slip. So in a bell drive, slip may occur. Slip means the driver pulley is rotated, but our belt is not rotated. It is called as the slip. So due to the slip, what happen? The velocity ratio is not remains constant. So velocity ratio is change. In a chain drive, no slip is occur. So here we use the sprockets, and in the sprocket, the teeth are there. So there is a no chances of the slip, and due to the no chances of slip, it is also called as the positive drive, and the bell drive is called as the negative drive. Gear drive. There is a no chances of slip, so here we mention no slip. The gear drive is also called as the positive drive. Bell drive is suitable for large center distance. Means when the center distance between this driving and driven shaft is larger, at that time we use the bell drive. Suitability of the chain drive is for the moderate. Center distance up to the three meters. So from this point to this point, the center distance is less than three meters, or a three meter at that time we use the chain drives. And when gear drive is used, gear drive is used where the center distance is very short. So here we see that is a center distance. So when the center distance is very short, at that time we use the gear drives. For a bell drive, the space required is larger. This space required point is related to suitability. So where it is suitable, it is suitable for large center distance. So when the large center distance are there, the space requirement is also large. In a chain drive, the center distance is moderate, so space required is also moderate. And a, in a gear drive, the space requirement is less or a compact. Four point is related to the design. So design of the bell drive is very simple. For a chain drive, the design is also simple, but for a gear drive, the design is complicated. Now, before moving ahead, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering. For other videos, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car, or you can also visit the playlist. Of my channel. Next point is the chances of failures. So failure of belt does not cause the further damage of machine. Means if the belt is fail, then the power is not transmitted from the driving shaft to driven shaft. So there is a no chances of damage of machines. If failure is occur in a chain drive, then what happen? Failure of chain may not seriously damage the machine. So when the chain is broken, there is also no chances of damage the machines. In gear drive, failure of gear may cause serious breakdown in the machine. Life of the bell drive is less. Life of chain drive is moderate, and the life of gear drive is very long. Next point is on the basis of lubrication. So in a bell drive, the lubrication is not required. In a chain drives, we need to do the lubrications of a chain. The chain drive is used in our bicycles or in motorcycles. So we know that we need to do the lubrications of this chain drive after some interval of times. In a gear drives, the lubrication is required. So it is required proper lubrications. So gear drive need continuous lubrications. So this gear box 
have required the special lubrication system. Installation cost for the belt drive is less. Installation of a chain drive is moderate and installation of the gear drive is more because the price of the gear is higher compared to the belt drive and compared to the chain. Now belt drive is used for low velocity ratio means the driving pulley and driven pulley are there and the diameter of the driving and driven pulley are different at that time the velocity ratio is different. So belt drive is used for low velocity ratio, chain drive is used for moderate velocity ratio and gear drive is used for very high velocity ratio. So here how we can remember these various points so in a chain drive we can see all the point is contain the moderate here center distance is moderate space required is moderate life is moderate installation cost is moderate uses is uh, uses for the moderate velocity ratio so moderate word is related to this chain drive now what is the example of a bell drive so bell drive is used as a first drive in any transmission system chain drive is used in a bicycle as well as the various automobile vehicles gear drive is used in a machine tools automobile gearbox automobile gearbox means in our vehicles we shift the gear so when we shift this gear the change is occur in a gearbox so in a gearbox number of gears are there in our bike or a four wheels or a tractor or that so gear drive is used in automobiles means various vehicles and even in these various machine tools of mechanical engineering. So thank you for watching this video. If you learned something then like the video, subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends.